today I'm going to be sharing with you the kit that I created for the Mini Kit Monday Challenge for April. So I'm super excited to be participating in this month's challenge as a guest designer. And I just want to start off by saying thank you to all of the Mini Kit Monday ladies. I just love watching all of your videos and I'm so happy to be included for this month's challenge. So I will leave links in the description below to the Facebook group for the Mini Kit Monday ladies and also to their channels. And the Mini Kit Monday ladies include Becky, Tracy, Dolly, Kathy, Daisy, Leslie, and Shannon. And the other guest designer for this month is Kelly Oblick, and I'll leave a link to her channel as well. So the inspiration for this month's challenge is provided by Kathy, and uh, she called it the Hop Into Spring. And she gave us this mood board, and I just think the colors of these buildings are just absolutely gorgeous. And so I was really excited when I saw this. So for this challenge, you grab your photos about Easter or spring flowers or kids playing outside or anything that reminds you of spring and use this uh, mood board for inspiration and create some layouts. And so the way that the Mini Kit Monday Challenge works is you can join the Facebook group and then you make a kit and you can make the kit just from whatever you have in your stash. You can post a, a picture of the kit in the Facebook group and then post your layout every Monday and uh, then you can win a prize. So all of the details are in the Facebook group and the link is in the description below if you would like to join in. So I'm going to start off by sharing with you the paper that I used as an inspiration for my kit and that's this paper from Paige Evans Horizon Collection and I think this paper is so beautiful. I just love all the colors and I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as a background or if I'm going to cut apart all these triangles but I think it's really a cool paper and it really matches the mood board really well. And so that's going to be uh, what I used and I picked everything else for my kit based on uh, this paper. So the next thing I wanna share with you is my photos. So I'm planning to use these photos and these were taken back in 2002. Uh, this is my sister Jeannie and her three kids and so my two nieces and my nephew. Uh, this is uh, Katie, Haley and Nicholas. And they're all in college now, so <laughs> this is a really old picture. But I do love these pictures, and I haven't scrapbooked them yet. And I really love the colors in these pictures, and I think it goes really well with the colors in this challenge. So uh, you can just see here that the colors of all of the things that they're wearing, and also just the colors of the outdoors and the picnic table, I think it really goes well with this paper. So that's what I'm going to be doing as far as pictures. And then let's go ahead and I want to share with you the papers. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move this over so I can just kind of go through each paper. So I have this paper from, that's my inspiration. And then I pulled some cut aparts. I have this paper from the Whimsical Collection from Paige Evans. And I love to fussy cut. So I love including cut aparts and other papers that I can fussy cut. So I also included this paper from Whimsical which is all these little uh, sayings, word sayings, with little banners. And then the next one I found was this one from Pink Paisley. And I think that this is really cute and I love uh, this paper and I think it would be really fun to cut all these little frames out. And so this is from the Joyful Day collection from Pink Fresh Studio. Okay, up next is another paper from Paige Evans' Whimsical Collection. Uh, this is another one that is words, and I think that would be really awesome to cut apart some of these words. Okay, so that's all my cut aparts. And now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the papers. So this paper is a rainbow stripe from the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. And I'm going to put it this way because I think you'll be able to see more of the colors. The next one I have here is from Pink Brush Studio. And this is from Joyful Day. I'm not going to be using this side, <laughs> but I love this uh, blue stripe. So I'm going to include that one. Uh, the next one I have here is from Bella Road, and this is Summer Days. And I may not, I'm probably not going to use half of what I selected, maybe even a quarter of what I selected, but I was really having trouble kind of paring my kit down. So I thought, well, I'm just going to, you know, Go with what I have because I don't want to spend more time trying to go through and take things out and I want to make sure I have enough to do um, some scrapbook pages so 
I might go ahead and do the four layouts and then continue to use this kit to do other layouts. Okay, so up next is this paper from Bella Red Summer Days, and it's this really cute pink paper. And then I have a orange paper, and this one is from Pink Paisley Horizon. And I like both sides of this paper because it has this rainbow uh, pluses, and then it has on this side just the orange tone on tone. So I think that either one of those sides would work. Okay. So up next, I have this uh, paper from Chamel, and this is from the Little by Little collection. And this is another stripe that's a rainbow stripe. Okay, and here is a floral. I did want to include florals. I love florals, and uh, this one is from Paige Evans Whimsical as well. Uh, then I picked a floral from the Chamel Little by Little collection. And I uh, probably should just separate that a little bit. And I love these two papers together. I just think that is so pretty. Okay. And then up next is another paper from Pink Paisley. Well, the Paige Evans Horizon Collection. And this is really cool because it has all of these little um, two by two squares. Let's see what the other side of that. Oh, and then it has the purple. So that's really cool. I have this uh, tone on tone purple. Okay, so that is all of the paper, except that I also have this paper pad. I'm not sure if I'm going to use anything from here, but I thought I would include it because it is the Horizon Project Pad. And in this Project Pad, they have stickers, and so I thought that was really cool. So I have these stickers to use, and then there's an alpha, and then there's some specialty paper, and uh, then just some, some different papers. And also some, some solids. And so I could probably use some of the solids to map my pictures. And so I might use some of the paper that's in this uh, project pad. And uh, I did a layout with that. That's a really cool paper. <laughs> okay, so I have that. So that's all my papers. All right. Then I have some sticker sheets. Uh, this is the Simple Stories Oh Happy Day. And I know that not everything on this sticker sheet could be used. I don't really have black in any of my papers. It's more of a blue base. And so I'll probably not use any of the black, the things that have black in them. But there's so many other things that would work really well uh, with the papers that I picked. I also have this acetate that came from Maggie Holmes Shine Collection. And it's got all of these little circles. And some of the circles have this really cool glitter foil and uh, so I'm going to try to use that. I find it difficult to use things like this and uh, I just want to challenge myself to try to use this on a layout. So I'm going to include that in this kit. Okay so the last sticker sheet that I have here is from Bella Boulevard and this is from Tiny Tots and I included this because I really love this alpha and I also like all of these little words and some of the other things on here I think would go really well. They have a lot of pinks and uh, other colors that I think would, would work with this, uh, with the papers that I picked. Okay, so the next thing that I brought in was this Amy Tangerine Good Vibes chipboard. And I thought that they had some really cute things on there. And so I'm going to include that. And as I'm going through this, I'm realizing that I have a ton of stuff here. And I could probably create a lot of layouts. So um, I'm new to this. And I just wanted to make sure I had enough stuff. But... Now that I'm going through it and kind of showing it to you, I'm realizing that I have, yeah, I have way, maybe have way too much, but that's okay. It's better to have too much than not enough, right? <laughs> okay, so let me share with you uh, the thickers that I'm going to use. I have these uh, thickers called Crayon Box, and I thought these were really cute, and I think that these would work really well with this uh, kit. I also have these uh, from, I think this is from the Horizon Collection, and these are called Journey. I also have these that are called Let's, Let's Dance, and uh, those are really cool, and I think the colors go really well with the papers that I have. And then we have this one, which is called Colorful, and this one here. This is really cool. I love this, and I think this is from um, Vicki Booten, and I this is the first time I've ever seen thickers like this, where they're much smaller and there's all these little word sayings, and then there's also border strips. And I thought this, these uh, thickers were really cool. And then on the back, it looks like this. 
And uh, these are really neat. So I hope that the manufacturers bring out more thickers like this because I think that these are really awesome. <laughs> okay, and then the last thicker that I have here is Groovy. And uh, they got some really cute sayings on there as well. And then here's the back of that one. I also brought in some alphas. And I'm trying to stick to, I have really colorful stuff here. So I'm thinking that might not work if my papers are really have a lot of color i might need to tone it down with some white or maybe some gold and so i'm not sure if i'll be able to use, i would love to use these uh, over here but i'm not sure if it would be too much and so i'm going to bring in these stickers uh possibly use these instead and i have this uh white sticker that's a uh it's a white foam sticker it feels like a puppy sticker uh, these are called memento white and then I have this one, which is a gold thicker called Picnic, and that's the same one. I also have this one that's called Meadow, and it's like gold and white. And then this is a gold scripty font called Simplicity. And then I have this uh, smaller white foam thicker that's called Happy Life. And then this one, which is a, uh, it's like a black polka dot on a white background. And even though it's got black in it, it's very neutral. And uh, this one is called Glossy Chipboard, and it's the Elf font. And then the last one I have here is the Rockabye, and it's a white foam thicker. So those are all the thickers that I have. And I love thickers, can y'all tell? <laughs> I have an obsession with washi tape and thickers and paper. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's up next. Okay, let's talk about washi tape since I brought that up. We'll bring in the washi tape. I didn't I didn't go too crazy with the washi tape. Uh, I did have a green washi tape here that says, Hello Sunshine. And then I have a pink one that's like a pink polka dot. I have a gold stripe. And then this one is, uh, kind of looks like a tie-dye, but it's just different colors of pink. And then here's a gold polka dot. Another gold stripe, except this one is going in a different direction, and it's skinnier. And then I have this one. Now, um, this one is kind of interesting because I bought a whole bunch of these at Michael's. They had them for a dollar, and I love this part of it, and I use my paper trimmer to cut that off. And so if I have a layout that I just want to use gold on, but I don't want to use that part, I just use the gold. And I just really love this stripe. It's really cute. Okay, so I also have a couple of multicolored stripes. There's this one here um, that is just different color stripes. I also have this larger stripe, and uh, I think that's really cute. And then the last one I have here, it kind of looks weird because I um, took a piece of this and cut it in half on my paper trimmer and then stuck it back on there. So it actually is a wider washi tape that I cut down. <laughs> But now I stuck it back on there because I didn't want to waste it. So that is the washi tape. It's also another multicolor stripe. So those are all my washies. Let me see if I can hold them up so y'all can see them better. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> okay. So we got that. Um, the other thing that I'm going to possibly be using are these little 2x2 two two paper pads from Pink Paisley. These are Paige Evans and it's from the Truly Grateful Collection. And also the Pick Me Up collection. And these are just little two by two squares that have all different uh, little images and sayings on it. And so um, I wanted to try to use some of those. I'm also going to include some die cuts. And these are from Chamel, the Little by Little collection. And uh, this is what the, the paper looks like. So I actually took one of the papers from this collection and cut it apart. And uh, when I do fussy cutting, I like to store it in the CD sleeves. And uh, I, I like to do that because then that way I kind of know where to find it. And because I included some of the Chamel little by little paper, I decided to also include these uh, dies. And uh, I like to also print out the cover of the paper pad because this came from a paper pad. And I put that on there so that I know what collection it came from. And uh, that's how I store it. So. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to find it because I'm always fussy cutting stuff. I love fussy cutting and so I'm constantly fussy cutting and I need to have some place to put all that stuff until I use it. And so that's what I do with all of my uh, things that I fussy cut. So I'm also going to bring in this uh, 
Paige Evans Horizon uh, Ephemera Pack uh, because I did uh, pick a lot of papers from this collection. And then also this uh, Illustrated Faith Bright and Brave. And then we have um, Dear Lizzie New Day. And I just think that all of these collections have really bright, fun colors, and I think they would go really well with the paper that I picked. And so this one is, uh, what is this? This is American Crafts, but I'm not exactly sure. I think it's a We Are Memory Keepers. Is it? Yeah, We Are Memory Keepers ephemera from the Flower Girl collection. So that's what that's from. And uh, that's really cute, so I'm going to include that as well. And then I have another um, one here that I cut apart. This is from the Simple Stories Carpe Diem. And this is one that I did uh, fussy cut. So I'm going to include that one. Okay, here's another one. This is from Pink Paisley from Paige Evans, Truly Grateful. And these are like little journaling cards. And I thought that was really cute. I also have this frame. And... Um, this frame came in a die pack and it doesn't fit into the sleeve. So I really think it's cute and I want to use it because I don't want it to get damaged. So I'm going to try to use that frame. I also have these uh, flowers from the Horizon Collection from Paige Evans. Okay, so that's all the die cuts and ephemera. Let's see, let's look at some stickers. I have these uh, Dollar Tree stickers. Um, I have these two packs of Dollar Tree stickers, uh, these little birds, and then this, these snails. And they're called puffy stickers, but they almost look like gel or like stained glass. And I got these at the Dollar Tree, and I thought I would try to include those since I'm doing this uh, layout that's going to be like an outdoor layout. I also have some puffy stickers from the Chamel Little by Little collection. And some brags. Oops. This is uh, Brad's from the Bow Bunny Believe Collection. Okay, then I have this uh, chipboard. This came from a Project Life chipboard set. And uh, I was gonna, I can't find the other parts of it. It came like three different pages. I might've used it up, so this might be all I have left of it. Uh, but I wanna go ahead and try to use this up. And I might have to cover up this Oh Happy Day because it kind of got damaged, so. Uh, that's one of the bad things about leaving stuff loose in your craft room is that stuff like that happens and uh, that's bad. So <laughs> that's why I like to keep stuff in the uh, sleeves like this because uh, it does protect it and keeps it together. Okay, I also have these frames from Heidi Swap and I thought these were really cute. And I've been wanting to use these frames and I just, every time I try to, to use them, um, I don't know, they just... Uh, I try them on the layout and they go right back in the package. <laughs> I've tried to use them a few times, but I want to try to see if I can include those in one of my layouts. I also have these puppy stickers from Bicky Booten, and I'm not sure what collection this is from. Uh, I find that the packaging for Bicky Booten is really difficult because she hardly ever puts her collection names on her products. But uh, I really thought the colors of these uh, um, enamel dots were really uh, cute. I think it'll go really well with the, with the papers. Okay, so then I have some uh, mini alphas, and I just picked a couple of different mini alphas here. And um, I also have a book where I keep a whole bunch of mini alphas, so I could probably go to that if one of these doesn't work. And then I have some enamel dots. I have two packs of enamel dots here, and I'm going to try to use those. Okay, we're not done yet. I <laughs> also want to bring in some wood veneer. So I have these uh, wood veneer hearts. And I uh, also have these wood veneer butterflies. And I think these butterflies are really cool because if you don't like the side that's painted, you can always flip it over and just use the natural wood side. These are really, really cute. So I'm going to include uh, those. And I also have some more... wood veneer and this is uh this is something that i had uh tried to put on the layout and it didn't make it on the layout but i backed this frame with this saying that says happy thoughts and uh, i really like the colors in it so i thought that might work on one of my layouts 
I also have this that says best day ever and then some little wood frames okay I have one more thing to share with y'all and then that'll be it <laughs> I always like to use paper clips in my layouts, and so I did include a few paper clips. I have this one that says love, and then I have this one that is a bow. Uh, I have a butterfly, a star, and then I have this one that has little yellow hearts. And then I also included a few flares. I have uh, just a couple of different flares. This one says sunny days. Uh, this one says real life, and then I have this one that has uh, little plus signs in different colors, and then this last one is a camera, and it says hashtag smile. So that is my kit for Mini Kit Monday for April. <laughs> and uh, so I'm super excited, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I did uh, pull too many things, and sometimes that can be a challenge. Uh, not having enough can be difficult, but having too much can also be difficult because you have uh, too many choices. So sometimes limiting what you uh, pull into a kit is actually better. Uh, but uh, I was kind of struggling with it and I just thought, well, I need to get this out and I need to have it finished. So I'm just going to go with what I have and uh, just try to, I might try to make page kits from this kit before each one of the layouts. And that might help me to kind of focus on the different supplies that I have gathered here. And uh, so that's probably what I'll do. I think I'll probably sit down and try to go through this and pick out things to make a page kit and maybe make four different page kits. And then I will do the layouts from that. And uh, that might make it a little bit easier uh, to come up with the, the different layouts. So if you've not watched any of my other videos, you may not know that I have two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell, and I will often include them in my videos. So I do have a short video clip of Bella and Lily Bell at the end of this video if you want to stick around for that. And uh, don't forget to go out and check out the other Mini Kit Monday ladies channels, and I have the links to all the YouTube channels in the description below. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel. And uh, I guess we will see you next time. Bye now. Hi, Bella. What you doing? Hi, Lily Bell. What you doing? You watching me? I'm heating up my coffee. I'm not getting any food. No, no food. It's not time for food. Can you say hi? Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> sit. <laughs> Can you sit? Good job, Bella. Lily Bell, sit. Good girl. Down. Awesome. Y'all are so awesome. Maybe y'all should have a cookie. You want a cookie? Would you like a cookie? Yeah? I know that looks like a no, Bella. Would you like a cookie, Bella? Yes? Can you sit? Lily Bell, sit. Good job. Down. Good girl. Bella, down. Bella's like, I already did it. I should get my cookie now. <laughs> okay, let me get your cookie. Hold on. We got little heart cookies. Yay. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Y'all are back already? <laughs> you already had a cookie. You can't have another one. No, you can have something later, okay? We have to wait till later. It's too early to have so many. <laughs> or something else. Are we having a stare down? <laughs> it's not going to work this time, okay? You can't give me those little puppy dog eyes. I'm not going to give in. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> okay. Say bye now. <laughs> bye.